Hello, my name is Kristen Sanchez, better known as Siren. I um, would love to be Scream Queen because I do horror-themed improv, or I've done horror-themed improv, where I basically create a brand new horror movie every time I perform. Um, and I've been every single archetype from victim to villain, and it's so much fun. So I know exactly where I'm coming from and exactly what to do, depending on what side you want me, good or bad. <laughs> Let's see, I have so many questions. Let's do the eight films to die for mm -hmm. line. Do you know it or do you want me to tell? Eight films to die for in theaters October 16th. And then screen. In digital HD. Mm -hmm. And big old screen. Like yeah. <laughs> okay. Eight films to die for in theaters October 16th and in digital HD. It's worth the scream. <laughs> <laughs> what are some other variations? Oh, I get killed a lot. I've screamed in so many shows. <laughs> what do you watch your scream and get killed? Um, always different. It depends on how I'm getting killed. Um, I've been killed in a couple of different ways. My favorite way I was killed, um, <laughs> um, I was in a show and we had like a, a Twilight Zone themed uh, set. And uh, the stage was clear and there was like a little upstairs and there was a, a window on the wall. So I ran across the stage, like panicked, and I went over to the wall and I tried to like lift the window, but it was clearly just a problem. So it like won't open, and I started freaking out and I ran up and I hid. Um, and then one of my scene mates comes in and he goes, "Here, Peggy, Peggy, Peggy," and I was like, "Ugh!" <laughs> like it like made my skin crawl. So I like hid from him, and then um, he came up looking for me and then went back down and disappeared through a door. And I came back out as the scared victim, like trying to hide. And I knew that there was a place in the back corner of the set where there was only a single light bulb hanging from the ceiling. So I was like, mm, that'd be really, really scary if I die there. So I made it so that I backed up into that area. And after I backed up into that area, he came from right behind me. And um, he grabbed me and I turned around and looked at him. And he happened to be wearing a bowler hat, and the only light on in the theater was the one light bulb. And he takes off his bowler hat, and he goes, gotcha. And he puts it right over the light, and it was so cool. Um, that scream was very creepy, um, and it was just like the horror, like, <gasps> and then, yeah, going into, because it's just, at that moment, you're just screwed. So I was just like, <gasps> and then you're dead. So <laughs> that was one of my favorite deaths. It sounds really scary. It was really intense. <laughs> what would you rather play, the villain or the victim? Oh, the villain. So much more fun. I have had another show where I got to be, uh, I got to play Satan, um, and it was so much fun. And like, um, one of my demons was trying to usurp me, and uh, every time he would say something, it would just be the like ultimate power play. I'd just laugh, and it would just be like, <laughs> you think that you're doing something that I don't already know that you're doing. It's so interesting to me because it's just like, <laughs> you're not powerful. I'm powerful. I'm all powerful. Go ahead and try. <laughs> can you say, you kind of just did, but can you say like a line from something like that? Like if I was a demon and I was trying to usurp you, like what would you say and like do your maniacal laugh? Oh. <laughs> you think, you think for a second that you have any kind of control here? This is my domain. My domain means I always win. <laughs> you fool. <laughs> scary. <laughs> um, what made you get into stuff like this? Yeah. I've always loved horror. Um, the very first horror film that I ever saw um, was uh, Creature of the Black Lagoon, which I actually have a sculpt of. I, cause I do makeup as well, and that was one of my first ever projects. I re-sculpted um, and did my interpretation of the creature, but I wanted it to be as exact as possible, so it's very similar. Um, and I did a photo shoot where I was both victim and villain, and I had like the mask on and then also had like the bathing suit on, so it's victim-esque, but also was my own creature. So that was very fun for me. Um, but one thing that I just got really passionate <laughs> as a kid, I was locked in a <laughs> It's a terrible story, but it's also great. Um, but as a kid, I was locked in my aunt's house, and um, in her room in particular, and my cousin, who was evil, um, decided that she was going to put on it, and I was probably around five, 
never seen a horror movie in my life, and she, I was too short to turn it off or turn the TV off, so I was just stuck in this room um, in my aunt's bedroom, which had like creepy marionettes hanging from the ceiling. She was in love with Elvis, so she had like a weird Elvis marionette that hung from the ceiling. And then like her closet was just strewn with things and ev like glass sculptures in like her little um, like china case. And it was just horrifying. And I was locked in that room for uh, the, the VHS of it is two VHSs long. And <laughs> they come in. Um, I was like, there was a house party. So all the adults are in the back and I'm in that room screaming my head off to try and get out. Um, and no one can hear me. And then my cousin comes back in and she goes, oh my goodness, Kristen, I'm so sorry. I thought I put on Bambi. You know what, let me go ahead and put on Bambi. And she put in the other VHS <laughs> and she closed the door and laughed. And I was just like, oh my God, you're the worst person. And I still remember thinking while watching, even though I was so little, I still remember thinking, this ending sucks. <laughs> if you've ever seen it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The spider, what the heck. Um, but it was very, uh, it was very funny to me because uh, that was such a like traumatic moment. And I talked to my cousin about it later um, in life, and she doesn't even remember doing it. Um, so I was like, "You're just evil incarnate. You just know that." And she's like, "Yeah." And I was like, "Well, it's kind of elicited a passion in me." And she's like, "You're welcome." And I was like, "Fuck you." <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite horror? Is that your favorite horror movie? Oh uh, no, um, my favorite horror movie, I believe, is Insidious. I think it's very, um, it's like a, um, like, it does homage to like poltergeist, but in a very different way. Um, and it's like a very original, like you don't, you see a lot of slashers, you see a lot of other things, which my favorite slasher is definitely Freddy. I love, I love Freddy. Um, <laughs> even though, yeah, it, he's just so evil and funny and maniacal and it's so much fun to watch him. Um, but my favorite film would have to be Insidious. Um, I like the first one the most. The like demon with the red face is so so scary, and it's so brilliant to watch him just be horrifying, um, and to know that something could take you. You know, something could at any moment decide that it wants your body, and just decide, well, that's me. Like, and then your family is just at the mercy of those people, which is horrifying. And then the second one, I feel like, puts a nice little cherry on top. <laughs> awesome. Um, one more thing. Do you have, like, a favorite line? I mean, you do a lot of horror acting. Do you have a favorite line that you like to say that's really scary or from a movie? Um, whether it's um, my favorite line that's kind of, like, horrifying, but it's not actually from a horror film okay. is from, um, I think it's from Matrix Revolution and it's when he's stuck in the train station and uh, the train maker, like the key maker, won't let him out and he's stuck there. And the person that's in charge, who looks like this like old, like, decrepit guy, but he's um, like comes up and Neo tries to stop him and can't do it because he's created, he's programmed this world uh -huh. um, and he's trapped there. And because he's trapped there um, and he created it, he's made him not powerful and he is all powerful. So he says, um, down here you live by my rules, and in my, uh, and in my land I am God. And I was just like, holy shit, that's so scary to think that like, you could be trapped like that. And that's so, like, such a, a, a horror concept, but it's not in a horror film. But it is horrifying, you know? <laughs> you made it? Yes. That's amazing. That's so awesome. I sculpted him myself, and he only fits my face. <laughs> Also, latex floats, and when you try and submerge yourself in water as the creature, it does not work very well. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>